Staffordshire Terriers are one of the most popular dog breeds in Australia and there are thousands in family homes around Victoria. But under new laws introduced this week to try and stamp out pit bull terriers, some owners are worried the Staffy could also be considered a dangerous breed, as Danny Morgan reports. Carolee Elso couldn't help herself when she spotted Monty at the lost dog's home five years ago. See, that's over there, see, he's not real bright. He was crying because, um, you know, these bull breeds don't go well. They're very people oriented. They are, you know, geared towards people and he was very upset. So I went and spoke to him and, and the rest was history. I went back and got him. The problem for Monty is that despite being registered, he's a crossbreed with no pedigree papers and roughly fits the description of an American pit bull terrier in the state government's new guidelines. If a council uh, ranger come and looked at him and did use the check sheet that um, appears to be what they're going to use, that he would tick a lot of the boxes and um, unfairly be blamed. He's a, he's a great dog, he's never done anything wrong. I believe I'm the responsible owner. The government says the guidelines will help councils identify potentially dangerous dogs that need to be kept under strict conditions. The unregistered pit bull cross that killed four-year-old Ayan Chol in her St Albans home last month is the type of animal being targeted. My view would be that if it quacks like a duck, if it swims like a duck, it is a duck, so if it fits the description of a pit bull type dog, if it is not registered as a restricted breed, uh, it will be put down. But that's making many dog owners nervous because the visual checks used to identify a pit bull also describe the attributes of the popular Staffordshire Terrier. If you cross an English Staffordshire Bull Terrier with a Labrador Retriever, that dog will look almost identical as what some would call a pit bull terrier. Some people think that they're going to be able to come into your house, take your dog and kill it straight away. Owners point to similar guidelines issued by the Gold Coast City Council that led to a spike in legal challenges to dangerous dog rulings. But the new standards have been welcomed by the Brimbank City Council, which includes St Albans, where A and Chol lived. It's just tragic. Responsible pet ownership is something that we, we need to work in, uh, very hard on and focus on. Um, uh, we do have a large number of unregistered dogs in, uh, in Brimbank giving the uh, animal management officers more certainty uh, about uh, what the characteristics of a restricted berry dog are is a good thing. Also giving them the capability to say, we think it fits this range of characteristics, we're going to err on the side of safety, we're going to pick it up. If a restricted breed dog is found to be unregistered, councils have the power to put them down immediately. Nick Foer says under the new guidelines, owners who do the right thing and register their dogs shouldn't worry about losing them. In no way does that diminish the appeal rights of, uh, of residents that, um, that believe that their, their family pet, um, who um, you know, they think is a, is a reasonable uh, family pet that is registered, um, uh, they have appeal rights against uh, our declaration of something as a, as a restricted breed. Is it? But a restricted breed stamp would force Carolee Elso to house Monty in a cage and muzzle him in public. I don't think that people should have to go to those lengths for a dog that's done nothing wrong. I think they need to totally turn around and get away from the breed specific legislation and the real problem is the owners and how they um, treat their dogs, train their dogs. Graham Smith from the Lost Dogs Home disagrees. He says pit bulls and others on the restricted breeds list are there for good reason. I think there are some dogs that are bad and I think in the case of the pit bull terrier I don't think we should give them any chances whatsoever. I think uh, they're dangerous, they're dangerous to the community. Something had to happen. You can't have a young kitty being killed in her own home by a dog, a pit bull type dog, and for nothing to happen. If the council does come knocking on Carolee Elso's door, she's prepared to dig in and take the matter to court. The dog won't be going anywhere. You feel that strongly about oh, it? I feel very strongly about it and I think most, most reasonable owners do. But she does agree with the state government's plan to make owners criminally liable for the damage their dogs cause. Owners could be jailed if their dog attacks a human.
Your dog should be under control, it should be on lead, um, unless in a, in a designated off lead area. And um, yeah, they're in the wrong hands, dogs can be dangerous. She says with Monty, she's got nothing to fear. He's my best mate, he's a good dog, very good dog. <laughs>